Hello, hello, everybody. Today, I want to talk to you all about breakdowns to breakthroughs. I know that as you go through your business, you are going to experience many. And I want to talk to you about that because we are coming up on a two year anniversary because like we're just going to call it that of a time in my life when I really couldn't see the breakthrough on the other side of things. And I know that you're going to be experience a lot of these things in your business and your life. And I just wanted to share with you about how to, even in some of the worst situations that you can't really imagine, I want to share with you how to keep going in those moments. So within the course of your business, I can share with you a couple of things that have happened to me that were not super great in my business situation. I, in my business, have had many clients leave me. I've had many clients, um, I've had clients that have asked for refunds that I had to take out of my personal savings account because I had invested the other amount that they had given. I had many instances where my social media was struggling in May and June of 2022, I actually, of 2023, no, literally just like last year, my social media was deactivated and it was shut down for crazy reasons. One was because I just wanted to message 90 people in a day, don't do that, about a webinar I had. And the other one was because Reels on Facebook had just come out and they said that my songs were copyrighted, copywritten, even though on Instagram they weren't. It was this whole thing. I have been through a lot of things on the business side of things. I have also gone through a lot of things in my personal life. I have had, um, within my personal life, I definitely like left my full-time job, which was extremely jarring. I went through some serious stuff back in October of 2021. That was like really rough when I had first started my business. And back in October of 20 or in May, March, whatever month this is, of 2022, literally two years ago, your girl was feeling ready for an engagement. A lot of things were going forward in the right direction. And your girl was dumped with a hard situation. That was very, very interesting. I ended up having to move back in with my parents, which was awesome for like a month. And then I moved in back into this condo. I ended up also losing clients at the time and it was just like, it was a lot, a lot was happening. And in that time, I actually considered stopping my business and going back to teaching. It would have been really, and I still think that teaching is a phenomenal career and I love it. And if at any point in my business, I decide to go back to teaching, that would be great. However, within my business, I am so, so glad that I kept going, not only from like a financial perspective, but even in my life, I'm just so glad because I think a lot of times we have expectations about how things are going to go and life a hundred percent was going to miss the mark. It's never going to happen exactly as we plan. Even if you're like me and you've got a ton of systems that try and control everything, a lot of times life doesn't always go as planned. So I don't know why situations happen in our lives and in our businesses, the reasons why they do. However, I want to encourage you that if you are in it, I want you to know that you can use this situation for you. Your business that you have right now is not a mistake. And I want you to keep going if it's something that you really, really want. If it's something that your heart is just like, dreaming of, I don't want you to stop no matter what circumstances are going on. And here is, here are a couple things that like I want to mention because I have decided to keep going with this business. I know I mentioned yesterday, like a really exciting milestone is that I've hit over 85 K for the first like 11 weeks of this year. No, 10 weeks of this year. I've already hit 85 K which is just ridiculous. I genuinely like never even dreamed I could make more than a hundred K. And that's why I want to break through any of those belief systems for you because so many strong women and entrepreneurs held that belief for me. I can now see myself as a six multiple six figure moving on to seven figure earner. 
And I want you to see that for yourself. And I know that there are so many people that talk about like, oh, like you shouldn't talk about money so much. But I do think it's a great thing because it gives you so many opportunities. It creates so much flexibility and freedom in your life to do the things that you want to do. So that's the first big milestone. But these are also things that happened in my life and my business that never would have happened if I hadn't gone through the trials and tribulations of 2021 to 2022. And one of the first things is that I've gone from like an entrepreneur that had an amazing audience and an amazing group of people to truly making this movement. I feel like I have created this movement within my business of entrepreneurs that are looking to make the world a better place of people who are trying to change the world every single day in the most positive, incredible humans ever. I feel like now I get to lead the charge for these amazing humans and make their life even easier. Another thing I've been able to do is I've been able to take the funds that I've earned and I've been able to invest it into causes I really care about. One is R-A-I-N-N, and I will link it here. It is something that has... It didn't necessarily make a personal difference in my life when I was going through some really hard times, but it is something I donate to every single year. I've already been able to raise a thousand dollars for them. And it's something that like I can just donate to now and help other people fulfill their missions because I've been able to, because I went through some crap, but it really worked out and helped other people on the other side of things. I also, two years ago, six figure systems didn't exist. It was just an idea that I have that I wanted to start business coaching, but I literally still had the career fulfillment initiative, my old business, and I hadn't started Six Figure Systems yet. It literally didn't exist until October of 2022. So if I hadn't gone through the stuff I went through, I don't know if I would have ever been able to create Six Figure Systems. That all happened because of all the stuff that I went through and all the systems I had to make because I was going through so much stuff and I just needed to make my business go on autopilot. I also, as I mentioned previously, I, um, in like another video or something, but I'm actually able to afford going through egg retrieval. I have endometriosis and it's been something that has weighed on me since I was diagnosed back in 2019. When or not 2019, when I was 19 years old, it's been weighing on me for 10 years, and it just happened when I got my laparoscopy, got diagnosed, and it was the worst. And it's been weighing on me so heavily, and now I don't have to worry about whether or not I can afford it. I know that even if I have to go through fertility treatments way later, like I'm gonna go through retrieval probably in June, and then I'm going to go through fertility probably in 2027. But because I was able to do that, like now I can just. Be like, okay, I'm safe. I can take my time with the other things I want to do with my life. And I don't have to worry about fertility. The other thing that I think is just so, so cool. And it's just like my biggest honor is that like, I've been able to help over 120 freaking people. And I really need to do that list again. Because just thinking about that, like me as one person, I have been able to affect change in 120 lives. Like, that is incredible to me. I am so honored and feel so grateful for that. And I never would have been able to do that without going through the crap I did. I wouldn't have kept going. And I'm so glad I did so I could help those humans. Um, I am now dating one of the most incredible, amazing supporters I've ever had in my life. Rob is has been such a great partner to me and he and also everything was perfect it happened exactly the way it should have for things with my other partners in the past but this is like I know this is the person I'm supposed to be with it was like it was just so clear and it's just wonderful and I'm just so glad that we get to be together and it wouldn't have happened if I hadn't gone through a couple breakdowns and breakups and I know that I am, they were all meant to be. It was all supposed to happen. The other thing that I realize now is that I was able, because I was like, okay, I now am like solely dependent on my income. 
I was like, well, I'm going to make this business really get off the ground. I'm going to make this work. And so I decided to start my group coaching program that year that I was broken up with. And I never would have started the group coaching program if it weren't for the stuff I was going through. And if I hadn't gone through the breakdowns. And I say this like as a person who's on the other side of it, because when you're in it, it's so hard to see. And I promise you, your first six figures is the hardest part. It really is because you don't know how to do it. You don't know if what you're doing is working. That's literally one of the reasons why I'm doing the chaos to cash flow webinar is like, this is the hardest part. If you can figure this stuff out or use what I have done to just make your life a lot easier, I promise, I promise it does get better from here. The other thing that I did is last week I was, I've always dreamed of buying a Jeep Wrangler and I've always felt so much like fear around like buy my own car, I always leased and things like that. And my beautiful little 2019 Jeep Wrangler is like the joy of my life. And it feels like freedom and adventure every single time I jump in that car. And it's the greatest thing in the world. And I would have never been able to do that if I hadn't been through some shit. And now I can be like, yeah, like, I can get my dream car. And I'm like so excited about it. <laughs> it's like ridiculous amounts of joy. Oh, and also something I didn't even put on there is like I was able to get two kittens. And we have a puppy named Jackson. And we have a kid named Fitzgerald and Frankie. And I've always wanted two cats. And I'm so delighted by them every freaking day. They just bring so much joy to my life. And I was able to actually get these kittens because of this. I also was able to, oh, the other really exciting thing is I've always wanted to live in Germany. And again, because of the ticking time bomb in my uterus, I always felt like, oh my God, I have to like start having kids right now. But I've always, always wanted to live in Europe and like live abroad. I've been to over 32 countries and all seven continents. Like I freaking I love travel. And because of this, I because my job is now remote. I'm now able to move to Germany, hopefully in 2025 to 2026 before we come back here and start trying to settle down, put our roots down. But like, I can do that because of this business, because I kept going. And this is why I want you to keep going too. I also have a team of five of the greatest, greatest contract employees ever. I have a team of five, me, like as a... I had this story about myself that was like, I was this little teacher from North Carolina. Like, who am I to do this? And now I have a team of people who I am meeting with tonight. And I have this whole vision for this structure of all of these things that can help so many people. It's like freaking awesome. It's so awesome. And I want this for every single one of you. And I know that the breakdowns are hard. I am not saying that they are easy. And I am saying that I want you to keep going. Because I truly never could have imagined creating, and I'm a planner, you know me, I love my systems, and I never could have created this dream life that I have right now, and I'm just so glad I kept going. So I want you to keep going, never give up, and two years from now, I want you to think about your future self, and that future self is thanking you for the time, for the investments, for the effort that you're putting in right now your future self is going to thank you. So that is my love letter for all of you. And I want to do every single thing in my power to make sure that you feel like at least through the end of March through April, that you have me in your corner, that I am here to support you as your business is going. And I'm going to prioritize every single one of those things at the Chaos to Cashflow webinar on Monday. I want you to know that it's your time now. And I'm here to support you in every way I possibly can.